Today I'm going to show you how to put a video in a video game. So now when all your friends cancel on you on a Sunday, you can now sit in your own personal home theater and watch all of my videos while also clicking subscribe. And so I'm going to be showing you how to play a local video, stream a video from an online platform such as Vimeo, and finally add 3D audio so that when you are closer to the video player, it's louder. And when you are further away, it is more silent. And thank you so much to Unity for sponsoring this video. So how exactly are we going to play a video in our scene? Well, we're going to use Unity's video player. Unity's video player is a powerful solution to easily play videos in your game. You can play a clip from your Unity asset folder. You can play a clip on your local storage on your computer. You can stream a video and it has support for that 3D sound. So we'll be using this powerful solution to easily make our own home cinema and enjoy watching my videos in 3D. So before we begin, I've used this free asset VR Cinema for Mobile that you can download and it comes with this free cinema scene. Pretty rad. So basically now once we have a scene set up, let's play a video. To play a video, we need a surface to play the video on. This scene already has a screen that we can use. Basically all it is is a quad. So if you right click and create a 3D object quad, the quad is just a rectangle or a square with one side and you can scale it however you want. And so basically once you've made the size of your screen, this is where the video will be playing, you want to attach a unlit texture to it so that when we put our video on it, the video will replace that texture and you have to make sure it is unlit. So how do we do that? First, I'll make a folder here called materials and I'll just change to the default view for now. So in the materials folder, we can right click and create a new material. We can just call this screen material. And this material has to have a shader of type unlit texture. And we want it unlit because we don't want the lights from the scene to affect the screen. Unless you do want that, then you would put a lit texture. And so with the quad that we previously made, all you have to do is drag that material onto it. And for now, I'll just move it to the front of this scene. So now once we've done that, we can now add a video player component onto our object and it takes a video clip here. So what we're going to want to do is in your assets folder, let's right click and create a new folder called videos. And you'll see that I already have one made here with my video, but basically you're going to want to drag and drop your video in here if you want to load it from local storage. So I have mine in my downloads folder, which I'll just drag and drop into this unity asset folder. And so you'll see that now we have our video here. And so really all we have to do is click our quad, drag and drop our video onto the video clip, which you can also use this circle to search for it on your scene. Then we have some settings. If you want to play this when the scene starts, keep this checked. This is more for streaming, but basically this will wait until the first frames are loaded before playing it, which I'll just leave that on. If you want it to loop, you can press this button and skip on drop will basically skip frames if it lags to catch up with the current playback time. And you can also change the speed at which this plays back. So if we press play, you'll see that it works out of the box. And so if you're wondering how I'm looking around in the game view, I do have a tool called runtime transform handlers installed. Link is in the description for that. Okay, that's awesome. So what happens now if you want to play a clip from online? Now, this doesn't work directly with YouTube streaming because YouTube is quite restrictive in their policies. But let's say you have this video hosted on some server or even on Vimeo. So instead of video clip for the source, we can put URL here. And now you can just paste the URL of your video. So I'm going to show you an example on how to do that on Vimeo. So you'd want to click your video on Vimeo, then you go to settings, advanced settings, then you go to distribution and you scroll down. And what you want is this link. And this is a direct link to the video. So then you just post that link on the URL and you'll see that when we press play, it'll now play the video. However, it will take a little bit more time to load because it is streaming the video from online. All right, that's pretty easy. So now let's add in 3D audio. So you'll see that for the audio output mode, it's currently on direct and you can change the volume of the audio here and you can also mute the audio. 
However, if we want to make a 3D spatial sound so that the volume and direction changes depending on our location relative to the video player object, we have to put the audio output mode to audio source and we have to add in an audio source. So we'll add an audio source right on this game object since this game object is at the exact location where our video is. And then you can drag that audio source right into the video player audio source parameter. So once you've dragged your audio source into your video player so we can get that nice crisp 3D sound, we can actually test this while we play the game. But if you press play, you'll see that out of the box, we do not have this 3D audio. You're going to want to change the spatial blend setting from 2D all the way to 3D. And once we do that, you'll see that now we can't really hear the audio as well as before. And basically now the distance relative to the screen determines the volume of the video player and you can adjust this value and the roll off down below in the 3d sound settings so right now we have this logarithmic roll off which you can see the graph here on how that looks so the x-axis is the distance and the y-axis is the volume so you'll see that rapidly as we increase in distance the volume will decrease logarithmically and you can customize this you can choose the max distance the minimum distance the max distance is how far away you want to be able to hear this sound so let's say we only want to hear it at 10 meters maximum away from the screen so we would put 10 there and minimum is the same this is the minimum distance we need to have to be able to hear the sound and so another one is linear roll off so this is a linear decrease as we go away from the screen. And finally, you can do a custom roll off where you can change the values of this graph yourself. You can double click and add a point and change the curve. And you can drag these two points here to change the curve however you like. And you can drag all of these values around as needed. I don't really like logarithmic roll off because you can still hear it even if you're far away from the screen. I prefer linear or custom roll off. I like the custom roll off because you can customize how it sounds far away. Let's just choose a linear roll off and let's test how that sounds. Differentiate folders faster because in Unity you can spend a lot of time looking through folders. That sounds pretty awesome. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe if this was helpful to you and hit that bell notification icon. I also just enabled YouTube memberships so you can get awesome perks for subscribing, such as usage of emojis, early access to videos and badges. And thank you again to Unity for sponsoring this video. And thank you to all my patrons for supporting me. I really appreciate the support. If you're interested, the link is in the description. I offer source code early access to videos, exclusive updates, and more. So with that, I'd like to thank my new patrons. In the enthusiastic tier, we have Jack. Kai, L, Yue, Manjit, Steve, Programmer Citizen, Travis, Ed, Ivan, Taylor, Gabriel, At, Anna, Malacious, Brian, Jundu, Ryan, Malkalips, Camille, Rodney, David, JP Lee, Ricky, David, Bruno, Alex, Arn, Hunter, Josh, Eric, Chris, and Mario. Thank you so much for all your support. I really appreciate it once again. Make sure to join our Discord to chat post memes or ask for help. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.